friends it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to my video for UK Scrap Addicts. So this month's theme for the team is to work um, a layout using no cardstock. So I wanted just to introduce this video first by um, saying that there are um, some quick tips that um, of certain papers that you can use that will actually help you with this process. Now for me I always struggle using um, pattern paper as my background. I do like a white um, cardstock background or at a minimum a single colour cardstock background. So I wanted to show you a few ideas that you could incorporate to help you with the use of pattern paper as your background. So one of these ideas is to use a wood grain paper. These are great so if you just imagine that this is a, a white piece of cardstock these are brilliant to be able to create um, your layouts on and there's nothing too busy in the background that's going to detract you so adding your embellishments on um, over the page is going to make the process a lot simpler so wood grain is one of the ideas and there are multiple types of wood grain available the, the you can get the darker ones the lighter ones i prefer to work on the lighter ones because it is a lot closer to the white um, than this one but these are great as well so equally you could use um, ledger paper so these are a couple of examples where this one's obviously a lot lighter but again there's nothing detracting on the background for when you're adding on your embellishment so ledger paper is great as well and then finally um, anything that's already sort of pre-treated that it looks like that you've done work on the paper so this here you've got a stark white area already to work on but some of the work is already done because this paper here has already got pattern already around the outside looks like you've actually embellished it ready so here are just some ideas to use in order to um, use pattern paper as your background and I'm going to stick it on fast forward now and we're going to get going with this layout so off we go. So I've chosen a photograph of my sister and my mum and my nephew are in the photograph as well. And um, this is a photograph from quite a few years ago on um, Bonfire Night or around them. So I've chosen to go with the pink ledger paper and that is from Coco Vanilla Studio. And the thought of the... Um, my idea on this layout was to do... Grid paper's great to do lists, a list layout... So I'm going to do a list layout for this one. So this is going to be uh, called 10 reasons, 10 reasons, I think I've missed out a word when doing this, should be 10 reasons why you are beautiful. Um, but I might need to go back and add a word just thinking about it. Um, so I'm just starting off with the bottom part of the title, I want to just have a look where um, this will sit nicely around the photo and then I want to add the 10 reasons um, up the top and what I wanted to do is I've actually got a few pack of, packets of these thickers I wanted the bigger numbers so I'm just delving into the other packet now originally I started off in that top border bit um, so I decide that I do actually want to pull it all down eventually I don't want the top border to be um, disturbed because you can see all of the numbers on the paper coming through the letters and I just think that it's slightly uh, distracting so I've just moved it all down a little bit. So this is where I'm coming in with my journaling and there's, there's a lot of journaling on this layout so if you're one that's not keen on journaling like I am then um, I really push myself outside my comfort zone with doing this one. So I added a whole load of journaling on there and um, just make sure that if you are um, adding journaling in a list that you do leave yourself enough space to write what you want to write so especially if you're doing numbered journaling like I did so I've pulled a couple of bits of pattern paper um, this is from the coca uh, the cut apart sheet I think this is from the more than words collection if um, if you were interested in knowing and I'm just adding these couple of little bits of cut aparts on and then when I go to lay my chipboard piece back down, I haven't left myself enough room. So I'm just going to budge those thickers up. And this is the brilliant thing about foam thickers. They are easily movable. So I'm just going to move those up. And then um, I have stuck my chipboard word down with some ATG tape. But 
I'm not too sure that's going to stay. So I'll come back in with some um, wet glue uh, once I've finished filming. And then I want to make use of this heart that's on one of the cutter parts, but I don't want the background. So I'm just going to fussy cut the heart out. And it says, uh, I oh, love you to bits, I think. So I'm going to use this as an embellishment. This is a great way to be able to make your stash um, go further, especially if you don't have many embellishments. So cutting into cutter parts like this, cutting out sentiments. Um, I do it all the time um, for, for things like that. So um, that word on the right on the bit of paper that says dream, um, I'd cut that out and use that as an embellishment. No issue at all. So I'm just going to add some foam onto um, the back of this heart because I want to give it some um, dimension. Apart from the chipboard um, word, everything's quite flat at the moment. So I'm just going to add uh, this on some foam and then just trim the edge there. And next up, I had a look through um, the embellishment pack and there wasn't anything... I, I looked at the flowers and I thought those flowers, if they were just sort of randomly scattered they would just look like they're floating and um, that bothers me so I decided to fussy cut um, five of these butterflies out of the pattern paper and thankfully it was two sheets of this because I think I'm through a whole sheet of these butterflies already so I love them <clears throat> as I've said in previous videos I don't like butterflies in real life but to scrapbook with um, butterflies are a brilliant embellishment because you can get away with them being on the page, not um, being anchored by anything because they're designed to look like they're, they're floating. So I've just added that little cluster of heart stamps um, in three areas. Again, stamping is another great way to um, be able to make your supplies go a little bit further. You could stamp and cut them out and, um, and add these butterflies on. I decide to stamp underneath the butterflies and then add the, um, the fussy cut butterflies on top. Um, I've never tried that technique before. It just came to me whilst I was making this layout and I really like how um, I really like how that turned out. It's like it's got a shadow underneath it. So final few bits of um, embellishment. So I'll grab the clear stickers and there was that hot pink um, clear sticker and it matched the colour of um, my sister's blanket. So I decided to add that on as well. A little arrow um, clear sticker just to tie in with the black on this and I tried to add another one of those sort of watercolour splotches but um, it was just too light on this background. So finally just adding in these little crosses from the clear stickers as well and I think we are pretty much done. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope this video has brought you some inspiration. If you're watching on my channel, do head over to UK Scrap Addicts. The link is down below for more inspiration. And I will see you all next time for next month's theme. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.